One of the best tight ends in the NFL is now back out of retirement, and he's joining Tom Brady. Fox 61's Sean Pergano has more. Just days before the NFL draft, I offer you this, a huge trade. The Patriots are sending Rob Gronkowski, that's right, he's coming out of retirement, sending him to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, where he will be reunited with his former quarterback, Tom Brady. The Patriots are also sending this year's seventh round pick to the Bucs for a fourth round draft pick in this week's NFL draft. Now Gronk has one year left on his deal with the Patriots worth about $10 million. Now Gronk's agent confirming this late Tuesday. The tight end who turns 31 next month has already taken a physical and once he passes, the deal is expected to be done. Brady has thrown 78 touchdowns to big number 87 with more to come. And speaking of Brady, the season hasn't even begun yet and he's already been flagged in Tampa. You see, the new Bucks quarterback was working out in a public park but was asked to leave because it's been closed because of the coronavirus. The incident coming to light as a couple of mayors were talking about the COVID-19 outbreak. Our parks are closed down and so a lot of our park staff you know, they, they patrol around just to make sure that their people aren't in their contact sports and things. And uh, saw an individual working out in one of our downtown parks, and she went over to tell him that it was closed and it was Tom Brady. So, oh, my goodness. Well, there you go. Wow. Now, Mayor Castor did say that Brady was cited, but not given any citations. With their final pick in last week's WNBA draft, the Connecticut Sun took a chance on Juicy Landrum. She comes from Baylor. She's a guard and could shoot the ball and is consistently making her teammates better on the floor at both ends, which caught the eye of head coach Kurt Miller. And there's so many intangibles there. Juicy's a player that's proven she can play without the ball in her hands. Um, you know, she's had great players around her. She's won a national championship and she doesn't bring drama to the locker room. She's been a great teammate. She doesn't demand having to have the ball in her hands all the time. Baseball news now and Mets fans, listen up. Your new owners could be Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer Lopez. That's right, the two have reportedly retained J.P. Morgan Chase to raise capital for a possible bid on the New York Mets. Now, representatives for everyone involved haven't commented publicly. The Mets are valued at $2.8 billion. A-Rod and J-Lo are worth a combined $700 million and would need financial partners to pull off the purchase. That's it from the Home Sports Office. I'm Sean Pergano, Fox 61 Sports.